Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with another modeling video. Today we're doing another World War II armor subject from the classic Airfix line, the old 176 scale. Might be a bit uh, dated but still fun to build and still available. This kit we're looking at the very iconic and famous T-34. It comes with the 76 or 85 turrets. I couldn't decide which one I wanted and ended up buying two to build each example. Uh, a Russian decal scheme and a Czech decal scheme. As usual, the box contained all the information you need to know, including what humbral paints are required. The contents include two runners, uh, two vinyl tracks, instructions, which are extremely helpful and very big A4, uh, quite clear in assembly, plus uh, a decal sheet, very, very high quality, uh, pre-cut and goes on like a dream. As always with the old tooling, We've got the runners without the outer frame, uh, kind of brittle, pieces do fall off. A bit of uh, flash and imperfections are definitely noticed, but disappointingly the detail is kind of shabby and shallow. Nonetheless, this is on the lower end of the small armor scale and we'll pump straight through it. First with the wheel assembly. Uh, not too bad, the wheels are very large and chunky, though once we got into the uh, bodily body assembly and started gluing that big box together, we fell into all sorts of trouble with extremely poor fitting. Luckily, with the very boxy slope armour hull being in one piece, uh, a fair amount of the mistakes were hidden and not too many seams are apparent. Starting to get into the small fiddly things, uh, turret, fuel tanks, detail, whatnot, all a bit fragile, seam lines all over the place. Uh, this kit started uh, slowing down its uh, progress and had a few challenges to motor through. As uh, things kept going on, it started looking good, but um, bits of work were definitely required. At this stage of the build, we're up to the two turrets. Uh, come in all sorts of uh, different pieces, uh, gaps and holes that just uh, blare straight through the model. Uh, the turret is articulated, the cannon is articulated though, had to be glued down to due to all sorts of difficulties. And the 76, once uh, clipped into the body, you can see the two uh, marks for the prongs to fit very prominently. I advise gluing down and filling up and just uh, sacrificing the play value altogether just for that inch more of uh, realism. A mixture of Tamir and Squadron Putty was used throughout all these bits and pieces to cover up the seams. Lots of sanding involved in uh, more flash and more imperfections. Quite a workhorse uh, this kit definitely is. Uh, during this journey, the uh, process was very tedious in putting it together. It took a lot longer than um, the other Airfix kits I've uh, built. But in the end, and the smaller details put into place, uh, these do not look too bad. Definitely with a coat of paint, uh, we're laughing. And with the uh, tracks being able to be applied well after the painting stage, uh, we're laughing in everything needing to be airbrushed and very little hand painting required. The two kits were airbrushed Tamir Grey Primer. Uh, the bottom was quickly sprayed first, followed by shading around the top for complete coverage. The tracks uh, added to alligator clips and painted. Being a mixture of rubber and vinyl, the paint did uh, flake off, so once glued to the tank and repainted, they stay put, uh, luckily due to not flexing. The two kits were sprayed in Russian green acrylic, uh, Tamir to memory. Uh, 
then uh, a process of weathering, deckling and whatnot commenced to a fairly satisfactory finish with the final touches of the tracks and that of course being repainted and touched up. I'm starting to find these uh, mono-coloured non-camouflage tanks a bit boring in painting, which you can imagine our uh, freehand in camouflage is a bucket of fun. Having uh, a play with uh, inking uh, and uh, the MIG production pigments and etc., I definitely uh, dirtied them up and highlighted the edging in uh, dry brushing. Once a couple of layers of uh, flat coat were applied and the decals sealed, being uh, a very dated kit and it shows in uh, not standing up to the more modern alternative uh, T34 such as uh, Dragon and whatnot, I can uh, definitely sit comfortably and happy with the general finish these uh, classic kits bring. But again with their price tag, definitely worth the play around. My only little regrets were with this uh, kit, besides the weathering being slightly on the uh, heavy side, uh, my bad. Uh, again, great time for a little experiment and finding out that sweet spot and uh, mixturing pigments, weathering, whatnot for the bigger builds. The tracks didn't exactly stretch and connect too well. I think they were a bad batch, though with a little playing with uh, a glue and a knife, Neaten up to the best of my ability. Uh, these pieces are far from being uh, competition ready or public display, but uh, for my purposes, I'm very happy to chuck them in the collection and show them to you guys. I would recommend them for someone that wants to have a go at a challenging kit and uh, neatening up their skills in getting pieces to fit and cleaning up our imperfections, mistakes and seam line work. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time uh, I definitely want to do more Russian armour in the future as it is a favourite subject of mine. Catch you guys later.